knows best. This Lada is in position though, he's only level 2 so he, he doesn't really offer much more than just a crush but if they can bring down one of the Meepos low enough then you know Shrapnel plus just right clicks may be able to kill him. In the meantime though the Doom is thinking the same thing against the Snipers. He is in position, he can run him down, he does have the smoke on him as well and if you have a net available the Meepo is going to run in, they pop the Howl as well, they go in, they get the net off, they get the proof off and they get the first spot on the Sniper. That's that global howl being very useful as well, buffing up everyone, buffing up the top lane. The Meepo, well he's going to be shrining himself, there's no one in the lane at the moment, the Night Stalker is trying to set up for gank in the mid lane as Doom is coming in from the side as well. They're running him down. The night time is up and running. Necroman is going to be a little bit in danger as he will be burned down and he will be killed. In the meantime, in the bottom lane, the silencer does get found and killed by the slaughter, but trading a support here for the mid hero. So they, they are out leveling, they are out farming, they're doing all of these small things. The Doom will now run into the slaughter. He will find him. They may actually be able to get a kill on him as they get the net out. They follow him down and they do get the kill as the slaughter. What's it, what's it called? The Doom will be able to crit him with that little... Like, there's not, there's not much the sniper does against Meepo. That's the thing. Like, he's already been shut down. He's already been killed twice in the mid lane. And the Meepo doesn't stay much in the mid lane. Like, you go in, you poof, you take the creeps, you walk away. That doesn't give the sniper much of a room to try and contest him. And in the meantime, bottom lane, mid pullers may be a little bit in danger as a slaughter. <coughs> Alright. I was dying a little bit there either way. The slot on the bottom lane tried to go onto the silencer, but he was not able to get the kill. And I was saying, okay, that movement speed is crazy. As he's running down this this uh, slaughter, they did get the kill in the dark here with the wolves. That's the movement. Let's see if they can go in and find that doom initiation. Alright, oh, the Meepo gets spotted out. The life still is going to run himself away as the doom did not really get quite close enough, so. They actually go for a fake back and smoke themselves up, they infest onto the slaughter. The slaughter is going to be running down the slander, he does find him, but they don't see where he actually is. And slander, he will run them down in the meantime, global silence comes out, they want to take this fight, they go in, they get to do one of the sniper, the do sniper gets taken down instantly, as now the life is going to be the next one that gets focused on. Crush comes out by the slaughter, may be able to buy enough time, I guess that's, that's a good trade-off. Bugassi is going to be happy with that, they, they take away the ages instantly so they don't even have to worry about the Roshan for the next um, 8 minutes. This casual buckler picked up as well, it's fairly normal for Doom to like, Bassi, buckler, all of these small aura items, it's very common to not see them being upgraded at all. He could. A little Radiant scan comes out as they, they want to see if there's any enemy here as the Doom goes in. He spots out, okay that's a very quick kill in the dark as he gets jumped, he gets doomed, he gets killed. As the Witch Doctor is going to be the next one in the me me menu, the Meepo does have 5 seconds cooldown on his flank. But it should be more than enough to get this kill, the Witch Doctor is burning down, the Sniper is going to be the next one. Oh, can he get the kill? He goes in, he gets the poofs off, he doesn't get the initiation he wanted, but the Sniper is going to be taken down as the Global Silence ensures they get the kill. In the back line, so the Meepo gets picked off by the Life Seal, they get the Slada kill, the Death Wall comes out by the Witch Doctor. Stan is going to be a little bit in trouble, he does fight up against this Life Seal as much as he can. The Omnitoggling, toggling, is it going to be good enough? The Life Seal, one more toggle, let's see, he does survive, he gets up onto the high ground and he will be able to survive this one. Oh, they get the nuke though, they get the nuke, the Night Stalker kills him. Executes the Life Seal, that's a big pick off. A couple of seconds, so this is going to be the next thing the two teams is going to fight up against. Akinems is available on the Night Stalker as well, so he's going to have a nice time. Oh, the, sl the Slardark gets jumped. The Night Stalker goes a little bit too deep though. Doom comes out onto the Life Seal. The Global Silence comes out as well. The Night Stalker already took too much damage though. He will be picked off. And let's see how many kills they can get on the side of Halaris. They're, they're running them down. The Lycan goes in, gets a kill on the Darks here. In the meantime, the Life Steal in the back lines is going to be run down by Satan. He goes in, he wants to get this kill, but the Life Steal is already so close to the space that that is not... Got a cancel, he's now silenced up, they have the vision, they can see him, and the lifestyle in the meantime, he's going to try to get himself away, does get cancelled, no, the Night Stalker does not end up cancelling him, the Slot is going to be the only one dropping down, but still, Aegis, pick off, you know, that's what they want. Sure, the lifestyle or the Sniper would have been bigger pickoffs, but, you know, a pickoff is a pickoff, the Slot is probably the most important here on the side of uh, Bugassi, because if he's dead, there's no way they can initiate and take it. They know what's happening 
And let's see if Bugassi. A nice target gets jumped on. In the meantime, the global silence comes out. The Doom gets used onto the sniper. He's going to be a little bit in trouble. The Doom is in the front line, but he's fighting without the rest of his team. The Witch is picked off in the back line. The Meepo goes in. Nice little crush comes out. Medpon tries to focus on the lights and the Poof comes up. But no, the Meepo is going to drop down. That's the Aegis. The Silence is going to fight up against the against it was called against the life seal. The life seal gets a kill in the silence. In the meantime, the Meepo is still stuck in this wall. Very, very annoying thing. That is not the fight that we're looking for. That's, that's a rough fight for the side of this jump play. Let's see if they go for it. Infest is available. They go for the infest. The Meepo is going to be the bait. Halaris they're waiting for. They know this Meepo can't be jumped. In the meantime, though, the Slada. Oh, he gets Silence up on the way in. The Doom comes out on the Lifesteal. The Lifesteal is going to be a little bit in trouble. He will fight up against Slander. Slander will be picked off. That's the first one dropping down. Global Suns was already used. Death War comes out. The Meepo will be killed. There's two people dead inside of Halara, stun on the Lycan, they may be able to secure this fight, the Doom ends now, and the life still goes in, he wants to focus down Satan on this light on this Lycan, the Sniper gets picked off, the Witch Doctor is going to drop down as well, the Chosen One on the Night Story continues the fight, as Satan goes back in with the Wolves, but they can't keep fighting, the Shapeshift has ended, and that is the fight. The Night Stalker as well, not able to get himself out, he will lose the gem. As that is four people dead on the side of Halar Aris and only two people dropping on the side of Bogasius. They take another good fight. Again, like Halaris, they knew what was happening. They they baited with the Meepo, but the lifestyle just does too much physical damage at this point. Like between having the corrosive haze, the sniper's right clicks as well as the lifestyle's right clicks, like they can kill the Meepo very, very easily. And that was showcased in that fight. Like he was doomed out from the very beginning, but he came on six thousand. The Doom does have almost that Crimson Guard completed, but yeah, that's the only thing that he can complete for himself. We do have the Aegis being picked up by the Meepo, Vacuum comes out by the Darkseid, he gets doomed up, he gets control, he's not doing anything else, as he will be killed, the Witch Doctor drops on the back lines, let's see, the Slaughter goes in, gets a jump, doesn't get a crush off the Slander, is going to be charging down the Sniper, the Lysil comes out, and they kill the Doom. See, so they are ready to fight. They're definitely ready to fight. They just need that global silence as well as the doom to be off cooldown. Otherwise, it's a risky fight to take. In the meantime, though, we do see Bogassi running in. Invest rune on this Witch Doctor. The sniper gets jumped. Gets picked off by the Meepo. The Witch Doctor, in the meantime, tries to get himself out. But, oh, they find him. But Slala's initiation. The sniper, let's see. Slala, can he go in? Can they get a nice? They pop the they pop the wall just you know PM somebody. The Slala goes in, gets a crush off. Vacuum comes out into the wall. Global silence gets used in the meantime by the side of Halaris. The tier three tail gets taken down. The metal is going to be worked on as well. No fortification available. The racks will fall down. And let's see, they will all, they will just back themselves up. But the Meepo, he will be controlled. They won't allow him to back himself up. The Lycan has already TP'd out, though the Meepo will have to fight himself. As much as he can, he can maybe blink away with one of the Meepos, but like he's definitely going to have to man fight this. Let's see what he can do. As it looks like he will just lose his life and his ages. Alright. Well, that's a big one on everyone on side of Halaris. The standard will be taken down on the Doom instantly. Let's see the Doom on the life steal. He's still alive. He will be surged up. He will walk himself away. He will survive. As they hold the base, they only lose night time, so they have the vision advantage. They have a new gem on the night stalker as well. They're going to be wrapping around, and let's see what kind of jump they can get going for themselves. They need to go in the back lines, and let's see. They find the witch doctor on the night stalker. He goes in the crushes, miss on the starter. Global silence comes out. They go in and try to focus on the sniper. The sniper is going to get himself away with the four stops. The darks in the meantime in the back lines will be taken down by the Meepo as well as the silence. So that's one kill. DL on the way, Doctor. Though that death ward is doing a lot of damage. Hilarious will have. To oh no! The maledict pops. And the, the Meepo loses his life. The sniper as well as the Darkseid is down though. The Witch Doctor will drop down. The life steal is still man fighting though. Satan will lose his life on the Lycan. Well, I guess that's the end of the fight. Medpum is like, I'm a little bit in trouble, boys. I'm a little bit in trouble, boys. But there's not really much you can do at the moment. Oh, <laughs> Rod of Atsus misuse feels bad now. We will pick up the Bounder Rune though, you know. Get something out of it. 3 for 3 exchange again. A fight in favor of the side of Bogasi. Only a little bit, but you know, they kill the Meepo. They... And let's see, high ground, they push in, Meepo goes for the buyback. The light goes, oh, the Doom comes out from Slander. He tried to TP out, but he didn't keep in mind the Doom can cancel it. As that is a very big pickup on the life still. Sure, you had to use your buyback on your Meepo, but such a misplay, right?
Sit on the lower ground, pop your shrapnels, and then just make the work on the towers. The tower is going to be dropping down very, very low. In the meantime, we do have a smoke wrap around coming up from the side of Halaris. They want to get the initiation off. Again, they just want to jump on this sniper. They go in, they get the Doom off onto the Dark Sin, making sure that he does not get his vacuum wall off, and he will be taken down instantly. In the meantime, Satan is going to be chasing down. He wants to get the skill onto the sniper. The sniper will go for the TP back home, though he doesn't have a Basher on this Lycan, so he can't get the kill. He wants to focus on this Witch Doctor, though. In the meantime, the Maladin is going to do a lot of damage to him. He may have to back himself up, but they get the lifesteal as well. They get three kills so far. They may even catch the Slala. It looks like he will be able to escape, though. That King Curse is a little bit annoying, but not annoying enough. Either way, that's three people down to the sniper. The sniper is going to be controlled. The starter is going to be a little bit in trouble. He gets picked off. The Roshan is going to be going to the side of Hala Ares as they snack. They snitch it right in front of Bogasi. They get the sniper. They get the slaughter. They get the Aegis. And it was a Hala Ares. They got coming in from the back. They see the courier flying out. They see MTL on this Witch Doctor. They go in, and well, you know, it's a pickoff. Maybe not the biggest pickoff in the world, but it is a pickoff. In the meantime, they do try and run down everyone else. Oh, Lycan goes in. He gets a jump. He sees Necroman on the sniper. That's a big pickoff. He doesn't have a TP available for the next 15 seconds, so the sniper is definitely going to be dropping down here. As that is a big pickoff. That is the one they wanted, and he doesn't have buyback. No buyback available on this sniper for the next 80 seconds. They will have to fight a 4 versus 5 fight. That's that's troublesome. That's troublesome. Let's see. 50 seconds to go. There's no fortification available either. So they can just walk into the enemy base and focus on those racks. They still have the Aegis on the Meepo as well. The Darks here gets spotted out in the sidelines. The Lycan ends up getting killed by this Lifestealer and... The Slaughter, they get a jump and get a liking kill, but the Darks in the meantime is being run down by Stana. Stana will be able to bring him down. Dead Dark time on the buyback, so they need to be quick about it. I guess the Light still needs 1,000 more gold before he can he can buy, have his buyback available, so he may not be able to uh, bank up enough gold to have it. Oh, and Meepo. Ouch, that's a big kill. That's a pain for themselves. Looks like the Meepo is not going to buy it back. The Night Stalker does give them the vision of this version though. And the Alright, the Shrapnel comes out. The Night Stalker. They decide to maybe try and contest this. The Meepo goes to the buyback. Satan goes in. They try and TP in. They try and contest the Aegis. But no, this Knight will be able to pick up the Aegis. In the meantime, in the background, we do have the Witch Doctor dropping down, buying back. Lifestyle ends up losing his life as well. They do get one kill, they get two, they get a third one. The Sniper loses his life as well. The Slaughter will go on the high ground, will survive barely. But the Sniper is not going to be as lucky. The Lifestyle as well as the Sniper is both dead. No buybacks available on either of them, as none of them have gold. And, well... The Lifestyle does have his, uh, enough gold to buy it back in a second with... Shapeshift or two wolves summoned. That's a lot of wolves though. But I guess he will probably go for the shapeshift duration. Either way, okay, bottom lane. Let's see the Meepo goes in. He finds the jump. They find the slaughter. They find the life steal as well. They were looking for a pick off, but they're going to be the ones being picked off as that is a dead life steal and slaughter. The life steal uses buyback this time around. The Witch Doctor doesn't have a buyback available either, so finally Halaris. They found what they needed and this in the meantime he does spot out Necroman on the sniper. He's maybe looking to set up on uh, for a kill here as they go in. Buyback comes out on the slaughter. They TP on the Meepo. The Meepo goes in. Gets a jump on the sniper. The sniper is going to be focused on and he's going to be burning as he tries to kill the Night Stalk as well but the cheese gets eaten and he's surviving the Necroman. Dead sniper and let's see the Darkseer. Surge is going to be used but it's not good enough. He will be killed as well as two more dead on the side of Bogasi. They buy back the Darkseer instantly. 45. Alright, either way, we'll see the sniper. He maybe needs to be a little bit careful. Keep himself between the tier 4 towers. Shoots. Oh, he gets jumped on. He gets doomed in the face. He gets forced off the way. He has to fight this. He will be searched away. He is going to be alive. He tries to get himself a little bit close to his, 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 what's it called, his pit. In the meantime, though, he's fighting up against these here. And look at that Ravia. Like, even with Rapier, it doesn't feel like he's doing that much damage. Metaphorum is going to be controlled. He's going to be the first one dropping down. Either way, the sound comes out on the sniper. He's not able to hit anyone just yet. The tier 4 tower drops down. He does finally bring down the first one. That's the Doom. Metaphorum gets two hit by the sniper. Okay, so that Rapier finally did some damage. He brings down the silencer as well. He will be able to take that kill. That is one. Just the ages, and now the second life. Metaphorum should be taken down fairly easily here. As Assassinate flies out, and he will be taken down as Necroman. Gets a triple kill. 
He does have the vision of the enemy, the TP in the sniper as well. He's going to be in here. Let's see. They go for they want to commit for this. They want to just go for the end push as Meepo and the silence. And we have to use that buyback. See the fortification is available. They buy back the Meepo. They want to take this fight. The silence against uses this buyback as well. This is the make it or break it point. The sniper get, does he get control? The Doom is still on cooldown for the next 10 seconds, Tanner. He gets control. Ooh, they get the kill, the sniper's dropping on solo, the blade mills are doing so much work, but in the meantime, wait, well, okay, never mind. 